Hey, baby dog. But you look good yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, Would you marry me again? So, Ooh, come out look at you. <laughs> Boy, I waited many years for that chance right here. Look at you. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. Okay. I am Elroy's sister-in-law. And I come out to help him to celebrate this great occasion, although I beat him to the fifth, 80th year, but I'm here to enjoy it, make him enjoy his. I'm Charlene, I'm Elroy's, I'm Elroy's cousin from Dallas, Texas, here to help him celebrate his 80th birthday and hope he hurry up and settle down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robert from Dallas. I'm a railroad friend. And we're here to help you celebrate the 80th birthday and looking forward to the next 80th. I'm Gwen Elroy, buddy. Hey, Elroy, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for traveling all the way from Dallas, Texas. Yeah. To help me celebrate. Yeah. Now, devil, all of you here, my next 80, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? Every day. Every day is a party day. Party, party, party. 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 Understanding and the peace. We getting ready to roll, baby. On my 80th. So long. 80th. What do you think about it? It's still working. Someone to love. I know that I forgot something. Champagne. Deacon tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it up to my knees. Leave it up to my knees. The glasses are already. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Provided it's going to be ringing now. <laughs> <laughs> you have your slippers on, huh? <laughs> I put my, I put my yeah. raincoat on if it's ringing. Okay, y'all ready for me clearing the pole? Wait <laughs> <laughs> right till we come back. On our way back. On our way back. We rather see you. Y'all want me clearing. We rather see you. I'm waiting till we're going to get the steps too. <laughs>
What kind of speech was that? All the girls coach, but they won't coach me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go play on that pole to shake this ass off. <laughs> <laughs> that joke get cola and cola. <laughs> One big happy family. And it's so, so good to have some friends just to bang a lid. Just like the family. You're part of the family too. But if it's not asking too much please send me someone to love someone to love show the world how to get along peace will enter <laughs> Sixty-two years. Sixty-two years. Yeah, wow. Where's the wife? How you doing? How you doing? You was with me. She deserves applause, please. She with this man for sixty-two years. How long have you been married? Sixty. Sixty years. Where's your husband? That's how you stay married. Sixty years. She told her husband to stay home. <laughs> Young folks, if you want to make 60 years, tell him to stay home. Come in a minute. All the, all the married folks, clap your hands. All the married folks, clap, clap. <laughs> Who's been married as far as shots? Happy people? birthday, Dad! Oh, Happy birthday, Dad! Don't marry that one first. Everyone looks so lovely. And I know we are all very excited and honored to be invited to this wonderful affair. And I know I'm on to pray, and I'm going to do that. But of course, I have to give you a scripture, right? Amen. All right, so the scripture that comes to mind is found in Joshua chapter 14, verses actually 12 to 13. It's the story of Caleb. Caleb was 80 years old when he entered the promised land. He said these words. He said, now then, give me this hill country, or in the King James, give me this mountain, where the Lord spake in that day. Caleb talks about the fact that he thought it was good that day when he was 80 as he did when he was 40. So Deacon Webb, my prayer is that you feel as good today as you felt 40 years ago. And whatever mountain it is that you're asking God to give you that you're still strong enough and wise enough and healthy enough to be able to conquer it. And with Sister Webb by your side, I know you can do that. Let's look to the Lord. Father, we thank you for this time, this celebration, this moment to say thank you for Deacon Webb's life. Thank you, Lord, that we are here in this beautiful place and we're not at another type of occasion that would not be so happy. But you allowed us to be able to give him his flowers while he can smell them. So I pray that you bless the food that we're about to receive. May it be for the nourishment, support of our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless those who don't have. And thank you that we have this chance just to observe that you are still faithful to your people. And that if you serve the Lord with all of your heart, you promise to give us long life. Bless us now this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This is what 80 looked like right here. This is what 80 looked like. Hey, happy birthday, Dad. You look beautiful. Nice. Come on. Oh, he, he made it, huh? How you doing? I talked about you last night. How you doing now? 
That's all right. Good to see you, bro. How you doing? Good, good, good. You looking good? Thank you, thank you. Hey, love, how you doing? <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I call you Uncle Elroy. Say, hey, Flintstone. <laughs> this is your running dog. <laughs> the lollipop man. Better known as the long head suck. <laughs> Welcome to the 8 o'clock. This is all our family here at the table. And Good man, I'm just glad we were here to celebrate his 80th birthday. With family and friends, here, here. The hate is gone, but if it's not asking too much, please sing. Happy birthday to you. from his daddy, Elroy, who is known as Jack to some, helped his cousin Curtis to drive his father's truck to California. He said that a 36 hour trip ended up taking 10 days <laughs> because of the horrible shape the truck was in. <laughs> now what he didn't know was that once he got here, he would not want to return he would not want to return home. So he had to think of what he would tell his dad. So in exchange for being able to stay, he promised his dad he would send him money to help pay for cropping, okay? Pay? How would he pay? Unless he had a job. And this is where the history class begins. All right, boy. How many of you know that Elroy Webb is one of the hardest working men we know. <laughs> Literally. Okay? His first job was at the Hyatt House, where he was, what you think? Anybody know what the Hyatt House is or was? I know I didn't. Dishwasher. Dishwasher? How did you know that? I know Elroy. <laughs> Leaving there, he started working at Henshaw Department Store. And while working full-time there, he held two part-time jobs. Not one, but two part-time jobs. One involved the demolishing of houses, and the second one was in the field of maintenance where he cleaned two different grocery stores. These stores were located on Avalon and Florence, and the other one was on Western and Vernon. And guess what? Although he had a full-time job and two part-time jobs, he somehow managed to squeeze in one more job. And that job, anybody want to guess? Yeah, he washed cars on Saturday and Sunday. So that must have been before he became a deacon, right? <laughs> I get joy when I think about you. I 
y'all know that, right? Y'all yeah. know y'all can't lie to him in no kind of way. And then he, he, he the one who made me break it with my boyfriend, say, oh. oh. Okay, he gonna get all mad just because my boyfriend had tried to kill me that one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was holding a grudge and all that. Um, that? Everywhere, I'm telling you right now, he's psychic. He know things, right? Like, he was like, you can't see him no more. You can't see him no more. You can't see him no more. And he was right, too, because when he had hit me in both of my eyes, <laughs> I could not see him no more. We've been friends for many, many years. I just want to say happy birthday to you. This is your day. And happy birthday, and I hope you live for many more years. Thank you. He tried to play domino, but he just don't have it. <laughs> Charlene and I, we wear a hat. But happy birthday. Love you. We may have come from far and near, but we are all blessed to be here to celebrate Aaron's Jack 80th birthday. Uh, I am the youngest sister. Um, I guess I could say he's been like my father because my father passed away early in life and uh, he thought he was supposed to be stepping in to, to be dad, but he was a little short to be my dad, you know, because my dad was tall and Elroy was a little shorter, so that was, and I was tall like my dad. Elroy told me one time, you got all those long legs. Why don't you change with me? <laughs> um, unfortunately, I can't change with you. He was short like mom. I was tall like dad. But anyway, we are glad to be able to come over the highways to wish my brother and to celebrate his 80th birthday. I want to say happy birthday to my brother and hope he have many, many more. He get dressed to go on Sundays, get ready to go out someplace. He come through and he stand and look in the mirror. God for you, Dad, because you, you made a good man out of me, and, uh, and I look, you was my hero. You know, you my hero. No matter what, you are my hero, Dad, and I love you. I want to say thank you for being there for me, and I'm right there in your foot still, still working hard, just like you. And I'm part right there. Thank you for being there for me. I'm my dad's only daughter, and I'm just thankful for this man. I mean, I was just spoil. I just got my way all the time, and he never would tell me no, and just overprotective, but I mean, if I go to him for anything, he's there for me. I just thank God for my dad, and just the things that he put into my story, into my life, and for me and my brother. In Texas, we had everyone here, so I figured we're gonna give you a plan with us with the grandkids on it. I mean, I'm sorry, with me and my kids on it. And it says, happy 80th birthday, Dad, Paul Paul. A man of value represents bravery and strength of character, boldness, and fortitude. All qualities that prepare a person to add responsibility in times of need, of challenge, or of danger. With love, Pam and family, 2018. And he got the Lakers logo at the bottom. And it's our picture. Today I am honored to be here with you to celebrate with you and your family your birthday. In my eyes, you haven't aged a bit. Your smile and love towards my family has not changed even in the absence of my father. You remain constant and consistent. In all these years, I need to say thank you. And once Elroy got it, when you oh. got it, brother, 
then everything worked out, didn't it? That's right. Because I'm right next door, so I see stuff. <laughs> and I hear some things. And I know more than they think I know. And like I said, when he got it, because he was shaking his head. But then he come back correct. You know what I'm trying to say? And they came from far and near to be here. And he said to me, you know, it was nice. I knew my people was coming. But so many of your people came. I told him. I said, you know what? You're not a stranger to anyone. You're always talking and you're nice to everyone. And I'm glad that everyone is here because this is a time to celebrate where he can see you yeah. and appreciate you. Because once they're dead, they don't know what you're saying. Right? They don't want people to get up and talk about you know, how nice you So see that when they can see you and hear you and give them mouth flowers while they still live. For his 80th birthday. Look at all Shaw. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Give God the glory. Give God the glory. What can I say? First. I didn't think I knew these many people. <laughs> when they told me how many invitations they sent out, I said, where you get those names from? <laughs> but after I look around, I can see it. You know, do my carry, I'm not gonna cry. Joyce, I'm not gonna cry, okay? <laughs> be a big, be a big boy. But uh, I am thrilled. Amen. I had people come from far and near just to celebrate little old me. Amen. I'm sure. Amen. And I just want to I don't want to miss nobody but I have some co-workers. The co-worker now would you please stand And my neighbors, could y'all say? All right, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. All over the place. Hey, man. And my friend. All my white people, let me see them say, my white people. Beloved uh, cousin-in-law. You know, that would make me feel good. They all over the place. Amen, amen. Okay, the boy here. Stay up, friend. Stay up, friend. I got a whole lot of cousin, cousin, cousin all over the place. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Amen. A church member. Do we here? Let me see all of my church members saying. Great. All right. Okay. Okay. These are all my church members. And so I won't forget, I'm in fact, every last one of you to do my carry. Sunday morning to serve. Sunday morning to serve with me tomorrow morning. 402 East Elsa Gunner Boulevard. Amen? <laughs> but uh, ain't this bill paid beautiful? Ain't it beautiful? I just want to thank my daughter, my niece, my two nieces. And daughters, and my cousin did all that decoration and put together. Would y'all stand? I didn't want to show y'all the one that. And the little lady standing right here with the black on, she did all these balloons. She did all these balloons. She, all that decoration over there. She, she is gorgeous. Could y'all stand? I just want my brother kid to stand. Hey, wife, stand up, wife. <laughs> And my wife, and uh, this is my niece and nephew from, from Houston, Texas. Amen. 
So I ain't got people my all over the place. I just don't know how to thank everybody. And you know I tell anybody, it's blessed to be 80 years old and still can do. Hey, 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 my beautiful daughter-in-law over here, over there, and over here, and uh, my son. Amen. They give him a hand, didn't he? Yeah. He's a singer. So he's he taking that singing up for me. <laughs> yeah, so we thank everybody for coming in this beautiful occasion. So I told my, my wife and most of my friends, I said, well, 80 years is a blessing. Now on my next 80, are y'all gonna be here with me? <laughs> so I want y'all here celebrating with me on my next 80, huh? And that, that little niece you see walking across this stairway up there? Uh-uh, she done ducked down now because... <laughs> and make a long story short, my beautiful wife. Bless her, Lord. Let's give her... She did me putting all this together. I guess I deserve it. I do. <laughs> so anyway, I just thank y'all for coming. And everyone for far and near, I highly appreciate, I love every last one of you.